Hey everyone, JD here again with Top Hand Tripods. What I am going to show you today is how to replace the rope on the head of your tripod here. And as you can see, I've taken the legs off of this particular unit and we're going to replace the rope. But before I begin on that, I want to suggest a couple things that obviously that you're going to get blood and fat and stuff in the in the rope here in the paracord um, when you go ahead and butcher in the field like you're going to do and so what you want to do is clean that every now and then um, you can leave it it doesn't doesn't build bacteria it, it just it just might end up smelling like a butcher plant but um, you can clean it with uh, like unwinding the rope and putting it in a uh, ice water works really well for getting blood off and boiling water will work really well to get the fat out of it. If you do like a bear, it's going to get a lot of fat in it. Um, even some fat deer and elk, like it, you'll, you'll get a lot of fat that'll, that'll stay in there. So you want to kind of use boiling water to get that out. And you can clean it, but you can also just replace it. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. And first thing you're going to do is actually pull uh, the, the the keepers out here and just start with the first one and I want you to just cut the end of that off so you see how that melted end is on there you're just going to cut that off so that you can pull these keepers right off of there and what you're going to end up with is the three keepers in your hand like this and one of them is going to have a little pin punch in it you see that little pin punch in there and then if I turn it like this you might be able to see through there it has a little bump on the inside that's this first one right here. You see that first one right there? That little pin punch in there is so that when you put this last last pin in like this, when you pull that paracord down through, it actually kind of snug and, and keeps it from walking back up out of there. So you're going to want to want to do that again, and I'll show you how to do that or how we do it when we assemble these things. And what we do is we end up taking... Uh, an alignment pliers like this or an electrician's pliers that has this little tooth on it right there and you use that to make that little pin punch in there so it just squeezes in there like that once you got your paracord in there so we'll do that at the end but for now I'm going to show you how and when to where to start on once you get the the rope pulled off of the head you're going to cut the one end and then you're just going to pull it through It'll just pull right right through the lock mechanism and you'll end up with a head like this. And you'll have to untie the hook off the other end. So you get up, you, you'll get the hook, just cut it off or untie it. And I'll show you how to tie this on too at the end. But for right now, we're going to start right here. And what you're going to want to do is just heat up the end with a lighter like this and just, just kind of heat the end of that up to where you can roll that to a, a, a nice little blunt point like that. So it's not this big glob on the end of... The, the paracord because you're going to want to try to feed this up through here so the first thing you got to do is find the roll pin that's on the bottom so the bottom is the part with the hole it doesn't have the letters on it the bottom has the roll pin right there and you can see that little knurled roll pin make sure that's all the way down to the floor down to the bottom you might have to take a paper clip or something and just push that down so it, it doesn't it, it's all the way down to the bottom like that and then you're going to feed this this line right up into there and you got to kind of twist it a little bit as you're pushing it in there and you can see how it pushes right out the top see that I just got it to feed right out the top right there and the next thing you're gonna do is if if you can see through this thing you can see there's a pin inside there and what you're gonna do is just feed that right into that first that or that next little hole up below that pin is that if you're hand, hand, handling it like this you're gonna go below that pin and just feed that rope right through that spot like it did there okay and then you're going to come back through the the bottom from from the bottom again and, and bring it back up right next to the screw head there and that comes in on the on the top side of that pin okay so when you do that you're able to pull that through like this and then tuck that tail then feeding it right back down from the top again and you have to kind of work it a little bit again push on it this is where maybe a paper clip or a stiff pine needle might help you get that to feed through and we're not quite there yet but getting there and you can see how it's starting to poke through this bottom side the more I push on it and work it 
the more that's going to poke through there. Now I got it with my fingers and you just pull that through. Now we're finished with feeding that that cord through there, okay? Now, what I want you to do is to take the end that that just fed through that hole, all right? This is the end that you've been feeding through and you're going to you're going to want to tie the the hook onto that end, the end that comes out of the hole. So that's how we do this is is to just loop it through the hook like that. And I go around twice, and then I push the tail through that first little loop right there. You see how I did that? Go around twice and push the tail right through that loop. And then give that a little bit of a pull so you got about a half inch of, of rope hanging there. And what I want what I like to do is to, to put a flame on that, melt that to where it starts to melt. It'll kind of wad up, it can burn like that, but then just push it against the side of that metal lighter and let it cool off for a second. And now you got a little flat knob there that you can kind of pull that pull that back tight against that loop and then pull this tight. You see how I pulled that tight right there? And just kind of work that down on top of there. And the, that tighter that gets, it's gonna pinch down on top of that and that doesn't come off of there, okay? So the next thing you're gonna do is pull the other end of the cord up. And you're going to go back to your keepers now. And it doesn't matter which one you put on there because this is the one. Oh, wait a minute, I got to start over. Okay, so you're going to find the one that has the little pin punch in it. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill that out with a little drill bit because you can't feed that back on there. So drill that out with like a 5 30 seconds drill bit. You, you can just even do it by hand, but just drill that little that little knob out of there so that you get rid of that. It's not gonna affect the pins function. And that way you can feed them back on there. And you can feed that one on the end again if you want to, but it can go wherever. So you feed these on like that. You see how I did that? I just kind of pushed it on there and twisted it to kind of walk it onto the cord. And again, this end you're gonna to wanna, to, you're gonna to wanna to have this melted and, and kind of rolled into a little point like that so you can feed it onto these. And you see how that one did? Sometimes you gotta really kind of twist these like that to get it to work onto the to the cord okay and then finally we're going to put the last one on which which could be the one that you punched like that but this one's a brand new one so I'm going to feed this one back on and it feeds on like that and then you're going to take your your Lyman pliers again electrician's pliers and then put that little tooth right up at the base of that right there and then you're just going to squeeze it in. See how I did that? It makes that little punch pin. Now this has a little bit of pressure against it. It's not going to slide as easy as these and so when you get to the end of that it's going to allow you to pull that tail up and it kind of grips it and stays put. And then the final thing you're going to want to do is melt this end down to where you heat that end up again and melt a little glob on the end of that and push it up against your your lighter like that if it's metal which it should be and that way your your end pin can't come off of there and you can you can always grip that with your fingernails cuz you you may only end up with that much hanging out after you wrap it up on the head so that you should be able to do this and again okay so you need 8 feet 4 of paracord I should have mentioned that at the beginning but I mention it now at the end, you need 8 feet 4 inches to get this rope weave to work. If you want to cut it a little bit long to be safe and then trim this off later, you sure can, 8 foot 6, 9 feet. But 8 feet 4 is the minimum you need to be able to get that rope weave to work on top of that head. Alright guys, talk to you later.